I got invited here by some Germans and uh, I was sleeping there and then I realized this is you know this is very Masonic you know. there's the uh, the square here for the square and compass you know it's the base of a pyramid and here's the compass the circle and it's it's one quarter out of the circle you know so there are three quarters left so it says the uh, the concept of three and uh, also the colors are predominantly pharaonic there's a lot of red for the pertasser the red house the nobility here's blue for the war and in the middle there's uh, white for the uh, the white house but funny enough it is in the in the square which is really chaotic uh, because this is uh, stands for humanity and there is also it's um, it's in 3d you see humanity is more down where of course the the square the base of the pyramid is and uh, so this is definitely masonic which a lot of paintings are so i got i wonder if they know it you know it looks expensive these sort of things you know and the funny thing is out of the circle it's not entirely like a square but i think the surface is a square because it is like here a bit more to the left and here it's a little bit more down so you know if it would be exactly like a square it would be here a little bit more to the, into the middle and here as well so I guess the surface if you know what I mean is exactly uh, one quarter so it does say the concept of three and four so it has absolutely everything and in the middle here it is the Ordo Abkau you know this is really chaotic here in the middle this, this is humanity and on top here it's more like um, it's more orderly you see so this is absolutely uh, masonic here some gold you know and here as well it's funny here's a little square which is golden so you know which means this is the people as well but the ones who, coll who collaborate I suppose you know a little part of the people who collaborate with these here the circle and this is the, the whole bunch of uh, the bulk of humanity like uh, chaos sunk <laughs> it says you know sunk into chaos here yeah. this is sunk into chaos well there you go so pharaoh me surviving another day uh, it's quite obvious that the other square here for the um, humanity that collaborates with uh, Pharaoh here with the our masters they are here in gold and they are on the platform so to speak which is uh, which is like higher which is not in the uh, in the abyss here this is the abyss where humanity is like is and if you want to coll collaborate you know, have a key position and you, you you end up in gold and have a nice life and um and the you're in the upper region like it's every everything is here and here's like blue for the war which is next to the collaborators of course you know do a war for them then you can collaborate and you end up in gold in the upper echelons right? here's another company logo you know German <laughs> look at the L why, why did they put the L like this you know it's a square and if there's a square there must be the compass oh look there it is you know all the circles here it says square and compass you know nice so it says gearing up for tomorrow with Freemasonry. Now look, this is a little ceiling bag here. You know, seal it here by IKEA. In German, that means Idioten kaufen einfach alles. So here you see a lot of squares on it in two colors. So there is a square, 
here, many squares, so where's the compass? Well look at it, each row it has um, well not every row, but, but this row here it has, uh, the one in the middle, it has four dark blue squares and three light blue squares seven altogether so it says the uh, square and compass it says the concept of three and the concept of four and this one the one going down it has eight and the one going up here one more it has three light blue ones and four dark blue squares so it does say the square and compass you know it says the concept of three and the concept of four so it says square and compass all over there's a whole bunch of squares. Might be interesting to know how many squares there are actually. It's, it's everywhere. They're, they're crazy with all their signs and symbols. That it's, it's sickening. It's it's like uh, you know, it's, it's stronger than they're being pushed to do this sort of. You know, actually here's a circle in the R with a compass. But okay, well it might be a bit far fetched, isn't it? So this is Joan of Arc, uh, you can see it's entirely in the nature, it's really beautiful, it's gorgeous here. And uh, I'm at a place called Murbach in German, because this is Alsace. Uh, Murbach in uh, Bach, it means a little, little, little like river or you know, a, a current like. And. Uh, of course, there's a lot of fleur de lis and a sword on the coat of arms. And as I told you, well, she didn't, you know, she was not sent by God or something because uh, her first general, he was uh, the first serial killer in France. His uh, name was uh, Gilles de Ré. The first serial killer that was uh, documented in France and uh, who um, sodomized and tortured about uh, 200 boys, young boys, uh, to death. And this is what I wanted to show you. This here is from the 7th century. So it's from the year 600. So, and as I already told you before, the first stone builders before the before the castles were the monasteries. So this was a monastery. There's a lot of which is already, you know, it has, it's not here anymore. So imagine this is like 1,400 years old from the year 600. And so, so here you can see that before the, um, before uh, they came with armies and building the castles, they came with uh, religion and to turn our heads like upside down. So we believe this idea that, you know, some power in the, in the sky is going to defend us and, you know, don't defend yourself and be obedient and all this, you know. There I see an obelisk. So they came first to attack our mines and then they came with armies and built the castles and to attack us physically. That's very smart, you know. So here it is. So it's not the 7th uh, century, it's the 8th century, 728. Well, that's old enough, you know. Amazing. This is what it looked like before, but it's, you know, it's this, the whole part is gone, you know, it's, it's uh, fell apart. It's uh, Benedictine. Uh, L'Abbé Princière, it means the Prince's um, Abbey, the Abbey of the Princes. Uh, it says, um, doesn't say in English, only here in German and here in uh, French. So it's, it's amazing.
This is like Egypt, you know, these two towers of um, something in uh, you know, the construction in Egypt. So this here is from 1878. And there is the concept of three and four. There you go. So here it says they need money. It was founded, here it says. Fondé, it means founded, it's almost the same word, in 728. And they say there was the most powerful abbey here. And this here, it's of course uh, inside there's a square and the whole thing is in a red square. So the concept of four and then there's a lot of triangles for the concept of three. So it says square and compass. Well, of course it does. You know. It's the organization around it. I don't know why it's, it's like it's like crying here, you know, like tears. Three tears here, three tears, and again three tears. Here's some statues here, but I'm, I'm not sure if they're old. I'm not sure. They don't look old somehow. It's interesting anyway. What is this thing again? Uh, Karnak, I think, you know, where the, uh, in, uh, Egypt. Oh yes, so they are old, it's the same sort of, it's the same style. This is like in the Freemason Lodge in Colmar, remember? It's a bit Arabic-like. So apparently this is the guy who founded the... Uh, well, it looks more like a church, but it looked, or the abbey. It looks more like a cathedral. Right? His name is Permin in 70, 727 uh, he says this is my cathedral putting his finger on it so here's the entrance uh, of course we're gonna have a look at the uh, the coat of arms and the coat of arms it seems to be like a dog uh, which probably means you know, they see us as dogs, you know, and it has a chain around his neck, you know, for our masters, we're, we're just dogs, right? Why else would they put a the dog on us, you know? And, uh, so here you see that again, the, um, this is the, uh, the coat of arms of the little village. It's a dog with a big chain around his neck. You know, we're, we're just dogs to them, hey? Black dogs, it's black and white. They don't do anything without a reason. So the whole thing is in the middle of a forest, you know, it's everywhere. Forest. Oh, this is probably the garden of the abbey. Hmm. A little pond. Nice little cone. You know, there's surely a reason that he has his two fingers on it here. Which is kind of a weird position, you know. And here, oh, there it is. Templar's cross. And another Templar's cross, like the Pope is having. And uh, Templar's cross. And uh, 
so there is something well, only because th this is, you know, before the uh, the era of the Templars, actually. But the idea of making a horizontal rule already existed in this time. So here, on, in fact, where you see the two pillars, look, there's a... Oh, no. I thought it was a Templar's cross, but it isn't. It's the uh, sort of a Vesica Paitsas. Well, it's a circle for the uh, for the compass, and there's these four things for the concept of four. Tu veux voir, regarde, c'est pas un croix de Templier, mais ça, comme ça. Dragons. Huh. Anyway, it's old. Very nice. Harp, probably, or whatever. Now everything belonged to them here, you know, and still does. You think they're gone? You think they're just gone? Don't be daft. Of course they're not. Everything it belonged to them and still does. When they don't talk about them in the media doesn't mean they're gone. Don't be daft, you know. And they, those who sort of think that the jaywalkers are the ones, you know, then where did the transition happen? From these in power to the jaywalkers like, eh? Where did that happen? Well, it never did happen. This pharaoh is still in power. Don't be daft, yeah? Use your brains. And there are no castles from before the year 1000. These are the first stonesies, the first stone builders. Europeans are tribes like Indians, living in dirt huts like in Africa, walking around with a bow and arrow like the Indians. Until our masters came, eh? They taught us everything. Because I liked our women, who made an alliance with them, most of them. You know, women like the system. This is the system. Are oh, no castles from before the year thousand, maybe one or two. They build like in stone, like in Egypt, Karnak, obelisks, pyramids. This is Pharaoh, mate. So here we have a set of needles here. They look really nice, you know, like chromed and all this. It says Prima, you know, that's. Italian for being the first and so here we got one of them here look it looks really nice all chromed and all that so no you see it's all chromed and it's all shiny 
looks like a good material look at that you know so let's see what I'm gonna do with it now now I take it in my two fingers here and look I just broke it <laughs> <laughs> what a quality, eh? I was, you know, sewing just in some cotton, you know, nothing really serious. And I already broke two of them, just, you know. So I don't know what kind of a material this is, but this is not metal, you know. It's just garbage. It just, you know. They're just selling us garbage, you know. So you have to buy it and buy it again, just like the tent and all this. No, just garbage. No other word for it. It's, just, it's part of it's part of the big lie, you know. Like everything is a lie. You know, everything is a lie. And all these companies, they all belong to Pharaoh. You know, it all belongs to Pharaoh. Garbage. So I hope you can see it. It's sort of a, um, oh, can't get it any nearer. We have an idea now, eh? Just selling us garbage. Now, I guess the, the real needles, you know, that it's only for the elite now, you know, you have to give a lot of money for it. And you can see already, you know, things getting more expensive and so this is the war against China probably and the economical war. Uh, no more products are gonna gonna be more expensive because it's no more Chinese uh, fabricating them. Needles, right? I don't know if I can still call it a needle. I don't know. It's more like. Uh, No needle. Now these are no needles. It's more like noodles. These are noodles and no needles. I, I need something better than these noodles. Yummy. Pharaoh's plague. Mm. Me.